FantasyFootballFix.com have just released their 2019-20 preseason website, which includes loads of unique features to provide analysis on your FPL skills using statistics, whilst also providing projections to help you prepare for the upcoming season. One of those features is predicted player prices for the upcoming 2019-20 season, so you can beat the wait for the FPL game to launch and start to plan next season's squad early. In this video, we're going to be reacting to some of those predicted prices and considering whether each player is likely to provide value with their new price. First up, let's take a look at the top scoring FPL defender of 2018-19. Robertson finished with a record-breaking score of 213 points, playing his hand in all 21 Liverpool clean sheets and amassing 12 assists. Unsurprisingly, he's expected to be priced higher than any other defender next season at £7 million. You could argue that Alexander Ronald should be up there too, after his incredible end to the season, but the right back missed a number of games due to injury and rotation, and there's a little bit more competition there with Gomez and Milner. So you can understand the logic of Robertson being priced higher. For me, £7 million for the Scotland left back would be an absolute bargain, and the pair of Liverpool fullbacks will be high on my wish list for game week one next season. Next up, let's take a look at the third highest scoring player of 2018-19, Raheem Sterling. This has been a season where we've seen the premium midfielders dominate throughout, and it's no surprise to see Salah, Hazard, Sterling and Mane end up as the four players with the highest overall points. They're players who operate almost like strikers in terms of the amount of high quality chances they get, and the rate at which they fire accurate shots inside the box, but they have the added bonus of the extra point for each goal and a potential clean sheet point. So Sterling is another player that I'll be looking to own from game week 1 next time around even at a slightly higher price tag and even at the expense of a premium forward such as Aguero. Sigurdsson ended the season with 19 FPL involvements, netting 13 goals and delivering 6 assists. Only 5 players managed more than his tally of 75 attempted assists, while his total of 34 shots on target ranked 6th best amongst midfielders. It'll be interesting to see what effect VAR has when it's introduced next season. When it was first used in the World Cup, we saw it lead to more penalties being awarded, as defenders struggled to adapt initially. If the same thing were to happen in the Premier League next season, penalty takers like Sigurdsson could certainly benefit, although the Iceland international did miss three of his five penalties in the 2018-19 season. And the final predicted price we're going to look at is Bournemouth's Callum Wilson, who enjoyed by far his best ever Premier League campaign, providing 14 goals and 12 assists in 30 appearances. Aubameyang and Aguero were the only forwards directly involved in more goals than Wilson, and only Salah, Aubameyang and Vardy recorded more than his 29 big chances across all positions. So an increased price tag of 8.5 million is definitely warranted, but for me, I'll probably be looking towards the cheaper strikers, around the 6 to 7 million mark, when it comes to selecting a game week 1 team. Instead prioritising attacking defenders like Robertson and Alexander-Arnold, and the premium midfielders like Sterling and Salah. Ryan Fraser in midfield might provide a good alternative if he comes in slightly cheaper. So those are some of the predicted prices for next season. If you want to see the full list of player prices and start building your 2019-20 FPL team early, be sure to check out the fantasyfootballfix.com preseason website. There's a link in the description box below.